Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now yesterday, the UDA Senator candidate for Nairobi County, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, made an attack on the root party presidential candidate, Professor Wajakoya. According to Margaret Wanjiru, Wajakoya is a madman who wants to finish the youthful generation in this country using the ban. Nikitumia maneno yake bila alisema ya kwamba kuna mwandawazi mwingine ambaye anataka kumaliza vijana wetu akitumia kwa kuwapea banki. <laughs> Why is Margaret Wanjiru attacking Professor Wajakoya? Is she getting it right or she's getting it wrong? How can you call a presidential candidate cleared by IEBC Mwendawazimu when the same person has never had any issues with you? Why is Wanjiru launching attacks on Wajakoya? Listen to her shortly and we will continue. No bishop wants to add. Niongeze hapo niseme kuna mwendazi mmoja alisema vile angependa kupatia vijana wetu bangi. Aambiwe vijana wetu watakuwa busy in sports, well, wengine yeah. kwa library, well, wengine shule, hakutakuwa vijana wa kuvuta vuta bangi mitaani well, na katika viwanja zetu. Well, when we keep our young people in the sports, they will be healthy mentally physically and spiritually Kwe. na hata morals zetu za vijiji zitakuwa poa asante sana kwa kuwazia sports your excellency sir allow me now in as much margaret wanjiru was making extensive attack on wajakoya the difference there is that now the azimio side through david mrather on an interview at ntv he has come out to embrace what Wajakoya has been talking about. And uh, he's saying that for them, they are ready to advise Aila Molodinga to buy into the issues that Wajakoya is talking about as far as marijuana is concerned. I wanted to listen to David Murade shortly. After that, we want to understand why is the Azimio side embracing Wajakoya and why the Kenya Kwanza side are against Wajakoya to an extent of even abusing him. And we also want to know who is getting it right and who is scoring on his own goalpost. Initially they were saying they cross over the 50 plus 1 with 8,000. When the numbers were computed, it was 80,000. Now, coming back to Wajakoya, who is he hurting? He's definitely not hurting our corner. If Wajakoya was to change any dynamic, and I saw him the other day, some social media photographs with the deputy president. It is a deputy president's corner that should be very worried and very concerned because they are appealing to that generation. Right. They are appealing to people who are taking, uh, they, they are not interrogating some of these things seriously. I like what he's saying, and by the way... About weed and everything. About weed, it is true. I saw a documentary the other day about uh, weed uh, in South Africa. But it is not your normal weed. This is medicinal. They will bring you an agronomist. It's expensive. You have to do in uh, some uh, greenhouses Even snake or... farming to pay off debt? You like My that? friend, you're not telling us to grow weed in Galana instead of doing food security. Instead of growing maize, instead of... Uh, doing rice in where instead of doing you know come on all right yeah, I, I, I like in theory and by the way most of the countries around us have done it eh? Uganda has uh, allowed it Rwanda has allowed it South Africa Zimbabwe Zambia it's making money so and, why uh, not not for Kenya that's what you're saying no no no, no. we are even asking right. our candidate to consider in the next dispensation for medicinal purposes because the numbers what Jacob is giving are making sense. All right. Now we are continuing with the opinion and discussion but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing at another time. 
once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, to an extent of attacking Professor Wajakoya, a man who has no any issue with her, it was a big mistake. Wajakoya has his own brain, and Gakua Nwazimu hange rusiwa na IABC to vie in this election. So that is a big mistake for Margaret Wanjiro. Remember, Wajakoya does not have a governor or a senator candidate in Nairobi count. The root part has no senator candidate. Even if they could have, it might be a weak candidate. So you might need the support from Wajakoya people who are going to vote for him. To vote for her as a senator for Nairobi. Remember, Nairobi has so many youth. Secondly, it shows that Margaret Wanjiru is not informed on what marijuana Wajakwa is talking about, what it is going to do. It means she is not informed or she is ignorant. Because Wajakwa did not say that he is going to allow marijuana for the youth and anyone in the country to smoke. He did not say that. He said that is going to be for industrial purpose. To generate revenue. And is mentioning a wide number of product that they are going to produce using marijuana. He is very clear on that. Some people have been asking questions if he's going to legalize people to smoke. He was clear if there will be a group that want to smoke, then they have to purify it so that it will not <laughs> have an effect on them. But even what Dakota himself is saying, he don't smoke even cigarette. He don't smoke. Even the running mate. And the running mate has been explaining explicitly on how this hub is going to help redeem this nation from the death they are facing in Chinese. Many people are buying into that. If Wanjiru was informed on Wajakoya's plan with the planting this weed, then she could have not made those kind of attack on Wajakoya. That means Wanjiru is ignorant and informed and again causing havoc on herself. The reason why she's attacking Wajakoya it is because youth are buying into what she's, Wajakoya is selling. And so she's not happy that many people whom Ruth was focusing on to vote for might just protest against Ruto and vote for Wajakoya. So Wajakoya has come in as an option on what was missing on the menu. And the William Samiruta side is not happy. She knows Ruta is going to lose. That's why she's making attacks. And she's saying that our children will be kept busy in the library, schools, and doing sports. Watu wa memaliza kusoma. Wanataka kazi. Wewe wanasema mambo ya kuwarudisha kwa library. To do what? Watu wako na degrees. Wanatafuta kazi. Wewe wanasema bila utawarudisha shuleni. To do what? She should be explaining on how they are going to provide jobs. Eti ya wata ingia kwa bangi watakuwa shuleni. Who told you? In fact, how the legalized bangi Kenya and most of the people who are using this thing ni watu wanya wako college, wale wako shule, in fact even high school, I'm seeing young boys, including now girls, are using this thing. Sometimes people are stressed. Hakuna kazi, hakuna pesa. They end up going into that. But when people have money, there's no stress. They can do their own things. We are people who cannot go into that direction. So, 
when you talk about sports, even they are not explaining to Kenyans on how, first of all, they are going to help those people. Kuna, so many football clubs. Why is FC Leopard and Gormaya not being helped properly? Kwa nina watu wapati mshara? Why? They should be offering solution to Arambe and so many other clubs. Kwa nini they are not on a payroll? Why? And they are doing a good job. She is not answering this question but she is saying our oh, youth will be busy in the field. So in my view, personally, I feel, I feel that uh, Margaret Wanjiru is even causing more havoc and injury to William Ruto candidate. Because even if there are people who are willing to vote for Ruto and they see how she's abusing Wajakoya without explaining the reason why. Facts, using facts. Because Wajakoya did not say I'm going to legalize banks so that people will smoke. No. Now, let us come to David Murade, the UDA, the, the, the chairman of the Jubilee Party, chairperson, is also in Azimio, as the vice chair of Azimio. David Murade is clear that yes, Wajakoya might not make that much influence into this election. But some of the issues that Wajakoya is talking about, the hub, is making sense for industrial purpose and for the business. Because of that, Murada is very clear that for them, they are now considering to advise their presidential candidate to consider what Wajakoya is talking about. That means David Murada is well informed. He has done his research, he has been listening to Wajakoya, and he understands what he's talking about. So on that, he already has scored. <laughs> he means that what, is, what, what, what Wajakoya is talking about can be implemented. And if you are buying into what Wajakoya is talking about, and we are heading to an election. It means those people who are going to Wajakoya because of trying to offer that solution can reconsider between Raila and Ruto who can become president. Wajakoya, we know he can cause a runoff and be part of the government if he can really work well on his own thing. This youth can have second thought that let us vote for a person whom we trust he can win. Because already is embracing what Wajakoya is talking about. So he will consider to put it on his manifesto. That vote will go to Raila Amolo Odinga. That's a good strategy for Azmio. They have candidates in Nairobi vying for specific seats. Wajakoya might not have those strong candidates. But if you are embracing what Wajakoya is saying, then those people, the youth who are going to vote for Wajakoya, will vote for those Azimio candidates because they are embracing what he's saying. But they, sh they are going to shy away from voting for this Kenya Kwanza candidate. Remember, tuko na Sakaja, tuko na Wanjiru Mwenyanapika Kelele, tuko na Milsen Domang. What are you talking to the youth in Nakuru? Mombasa, where you have candidates. So Azimio side is cleverly tapping into Wajakoya wisdom. But the clueless Kenya Kwanza, in their own ignorance, you know, they are just dismissing Wajakoya, and that is a big lose for them. <laughs> they should have thought afresh on Wajakoya. People are taking it lightly, but you know, we have governors who lost their seat in a difference of just 200 votes. But assume Wajakoya has a support of up to 1,000 votes somewhere. 
Then you make such kind of joke and attacks on him. What do you mean? Even one vote can make someone become a member of parliament, a governor, a senator, even a president, 50 plus 1. It is important. So Azimio is brave. They see what Wajokoi is talking about can be implemented and it has economic value. There is a return for money and value for the money. But Kenya Kwanda side, with their own ignorance, they don't understand this. So David Mnada was cleverly embracing Wajakoya because they need support from anywhere. So that they will be seen as friends to Wajakoya. Friendly accepting what Wajakoya is talking about. Remember, even in this election, if Wajakoya, by grace, can manage to get one million votes, it means there is a possibility of having a runoff. So between those who have been abusing Wajakoya and the team that has been embracing Wajakoya Manifesto, where will Wajakoya go? You go on the side where you know that your manifesto can be considered. So that it can, when you join them, you can implement it through that government. So Azmio is embracing that. But Ruto, na ile ukuristo yao, wengine ata tuwelewi. Because now they are comparing themselves to God. Without proper knowledge, they are dismissing that. So Margaret Wanjiru has to be stopped if Ruto has to make some influence and tap into the wisdom and knowledge from Wajakoya. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.